Alright guys, welcome to the channel. I'm John. We're playing Bloodborne. We're going to start the DLC today. Very cool. And uh, if you guys remember in the last episode, we went about deciding whether we were going to fight Garman and uh, the last boss. Forgot what the name is. Or we'll go through the DLC then come back to those two. And I think that's the right way to go about it, because if we go and fight Garman, the game's over and we have to do the whole fucking thing again until we get to the part where we can actually go into the DLC. And then it will be NG++. So, I mean, there's that too, right? There's a couple of things. How about it? Okay. So, let's go. So this is um, the DLC... Uh, the old hunters and we need to go and start it in the cathedral ward oh just because of of um just because we want to complete things okay we're going to central yarnum and we're going to kill a beast because he's free. He's free now. He turned all the way. And we have to kill him. Put him down. There he is. This is the dude who lived right there. If you guys remember. And he had broken out. We got Madman's knowledge from him. I think we actually get something else. The first time, I don't remember. Something to remember him by, so to speak. He's dead now, guys. He's dead now. That still might be a little loud. I don't know. We might have to adjust that a little bit. We might have to adjust this compared to the other games. Okay, so we want to go to the Cathedral Ward. Everything happens in the Cathedral Ward. And I don't believe I missed any bosses in this game. I don't think so. I don't think I've I missed any of them. And then we go right around over here. Uh, no. We have to go to the other one. The other exit. I think there's a couple of ways to get there, if I remember right. There. No. Here. That's close enough. No Amidala. No Amidala. Curse the fiends. Their children, too. And their children forever true. What does that mean? Hmm? You guys ever think about that? What the fuck does that little rhyme mean? Here we go. So we're not going to really dilly dally, just like we didn't dilly dally in in the main game. We're probably going to be flying through these things pretty quickly, and that is a little loud. I'm going to turn it down just a couple of clicks here. As you guys notice, we are in the Hunter's Dream, which is now called the Hunter's Nightmare. There is no dude here. There are no stairs there. There is no way to go down here. There's a way to go this way. But did you just knew me from this side? There's no people here. But there is hunters. A lot of NPC hunters. Well watch what that guy does. He does not like the beasts. 
And he is now our quarry. He's got a blunderbuss. That's still a little too much. Look at that guy. Yeah. So we're just going to sort of run through this a little bit. Pick up our blood vials and all our other goodies that we can get. But not really paying too much attention to stuff because... Dongo's up here. Yeah. There's a couple of hunters down there. A bunch of beasts. But we're not going to do that because we don't need anything in there. And since this is an NG plus run, we don't have to go down there. why you get so many blood echoes is because you get hit a lot. Oh shit, almost missed that. Old hunter trout. Yeah, just a tad louder still. Expect me. He is dead. I hope he old hunter cat. So we get all the old hunter hunter gear here. Hope you guys are having a good day today. It's Tuesday when I'm recording this. I'm not thrilled about that. These dudes are kind of. Um, scared of me. There's a hunter over there. You gotta get on uh, sort of even ground, I guess. If you get on even ground, then those dudes... You can, you can parry them pretty easily. Alright. You guys had to go running up there. How long have you been there and you didn't know that those had that big, that big ball? Hmm? How long? So we have to get in there, but there's this huge guy who's gonna come out. Huge, and we're not fighting him. You don't get anything for Philip for killing him, so why would we do that? But incidentally, this will be a this cathedral-like thing will be a place for a boss later. Look at him; he's huge, and he's standing right in the fucking doorway. All right, here we go. Oh, missed me. So this is the Grand Cathedral, if you will. Even though it actually is. And watch this. Did you see that? Probably not, because I didn't tell you about it. But right there, above my, whenever I say that it's above my head, the hand dropped. Oh, 
Maybe it was right there. Freaky, right? You're not quite sure whether that's a boss or not. It's not. It's the eye pendant. So there's no boss in here yet. There will be. There will be. And we have to go past this guy again. Who is just not going to be able to get me. Oh, well, maybe he won't. Maybe he won't. Okay, we're going to go down here now. And down here are a bunch of hunters and some guns. Stationary guns. See that dude down there? So these guns that are around there, there's these plates on the ground that make them shoot. See, so now they're shooting from multiple directions. So you sort of have to just watch them and then go. See that plate right there? That would cause the one across the way to shoot me. So rude. Oh my. That's what happens when you get in the way. And you can blow those things up like that. And then you don't have to worry about them. He was shooting all those. Oh, that out. Oh, that out. There's another plate right there. Alright, so they're all dead. And now we can keep going. There's a harder hunter here. There's, these two dudes are not. But the guy coming behind him... Oh, yeah. We kind of want to fight him alone. I think he's got, like, a boom hammer. Uh, let's see if we can grab him. No. How about that guy? Just one, please. He's got... There we go. I thought we got it, but we didn't. Oh no, I'm, I'm caught. It's stuck between that rock and the wall. Couldn't get out of it. What are we gonna do? Is that a death? You betcha. Well, we opened up a shortcut of sorts, so we can take that right back to where we were. And it's right up here. Unfortunately, all of the hunters are back. Missed. Guess he didn't. And he loses interest in me. these guys either. We've already done that. We'll take that. Blood vials we didn't get last time. And we have to go through this small little gauntlet. You guys remember? We were just here. This is where we died. Oh, come on. Oh, 
Oh yeah, just do that. He won't be near some more shooting. Oh man. Come on. Fine. I don't want to waste all my bullets on the likes of you. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're standing on that thing right there, man. You don't have my souls. That guy. We got back all our souls. Whatever that's worth. Not much. Alright, so much for me trying to kill one. Maybe we can get both these guys to come up here. You don't, you don't, you don't actually blow yourself up? No, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a wait, but it's worth it because then no more dudes come. Oh, I totally hit him. So one doesn't kill him. But we got him. And we get three blood vials out of it, which is cool. So there's a little thing here. Okay. You know. Uh, down here we have more of those weird insect things, but we're not really going to bother with them. Nor are we going to really bother with anything over here except for what's in here. This is, if you guys remember, when we were in the the um, the regular game, we were like we wouldn't remember when we just killed that um, that beast, right? So we just killed that beast, and if you just go down and to the left, we go to where Father's Gascoigne is, and there's like a house there, and there's some dudes in it and stuff. That's this. Pretty cool. And remember there was, there was a dude right here? And the other one? He was like right there. And then there was a dude right here. This was not open. And oh shit, dudes. So rude. Alright, um, and then this went up where you would go to the Clark Beast. Now we gotta get the hell out of Dodge here. Man. So we killed this guy, and then that guy's not alive. This is. Boom hammer. And then that whole thing blows up, man. And this is the way to Eileen in the first one. And then this was a way back. And then we could go back up here, if you guys remember. Like this. There was a dude here. And then right through here was the way back to Lasepka's Clinic. But now that isn't the way back to Lasepka's Clinic. This dude is here. Okay, so he is pretty fast, so we're going to try to get him.
That was not good. What? He is strong, man. There's a lot of hit points. Whoa! Did you see how many that took? He's got like super strong armor. It's not that we don't do many much damage here. I mean, it is that we don't do much damage. It falls, man. It was a long fight. I got firing hammer badge. So interestingly enough, what we can do is we can go into our inventory. I think it's key items. Uh, what was it called? Fiery something. See, all our hunter badges are here. And if we look at it, we can find it. Uh, there it is. If we look at it, it shows us what we get from it. Um, I think I think it does. I thought it did. Maybe it doesn't in this game. Yeah. But nevertheless, there there is an inventory increase. And now that we're almost out of pots, which is great, we're gonna have to carry on. And we're just going to, we're not going to dilly dally here. Take that. So we got some quicksilver bullets. What's that telling you? Hmm? That 
didn't get me. Oh, dude, what are you doing up there? Give me some souls, no? Not souls. So there's there's a dude. He's the only one. Why you're waiting too long? And if you wait too long, I gotta go. And so right through here is our way to a shortcut. And then there's this dude here. He's an NPC. His name is Simon. Let's talk with him. You're a hunter with your sanity, aren't you? Must have taken a wrong turn, then eh? We took a wrong turn. Well, we're more alike than you think. This is the hunter's nightmare. Where hunters end up when drunk with blood. You've seen them before. Aimless, wandering hunters, slavering like beasts. Well, yeah, we did. We just killed a bunch. This is what the poor fools have to look forward to. So, don't be brash. Turn back before it's too late. Unless you've something I don't think so. in nightmares. I like nightmares. Nightmares are fascinating. Oh, yes, I see. You sense a secret within the nightmare and cannot bear to leave it be. As if the spirit of Bergenworth lives on within you. Such inquisitive hunters will relish the nightmare. But beware. Secrets are secrets for a reason. And some do not wish to see them uncovered. Especially when the secrets are particularly unseemly. Alright, dude. Well, thanks. Beware. Secrets are secrets. Alright, man. Thanks. And our grand shortcut. Back to the Aiden's chapel. Go fill up. Get our um You know what we never did? And this is what oh my god dudes. Oh my god. Oh my god, look. Where does it show? My durability is zero of 200. We defeated that guy having a weapon with a durability of zero. Okay, what does that mean? That means it doesn't fucking zero damage on us. Where's my Blade of Mercy? At least there's something durability in that. I'm going to gain none. In fact, it's got a little broken symbol on it. Fuck. Okay. And so that's giving me right now 156 plus 102. Let's see what happens when we fix it. Now it's a 156 plus 361. <clears throat> I'm such a fucking idiot. Let's look if we have any uh, any more blood gems that can be any better than what we have. So what we do is we look... Okay, let me go back. So we have three slots. We have two radials and a triangle. And in our first slot, in the upper left corner, we're using this Tempering Blood Gem 6, which is plus 20.3%. So what we do is we look at the physical attack number, see it's plus 361. And when I go to this next one, it goes down from 361 to 273. We're going to cycle through all of these and look for something blue there. That would mean that it's a better gem if there is no negative. So we'll just cycle through them like this. Well, there was one. Increased stamina cost 2.8. Add physical attack 7.5. That's not worth it. It means every 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 uh, swing uses 2.8 more percent stamina. Now maybe that isn't that big of a deal if I'm pumping 
stuff into stamina, but no, I don't really need that. Okay, next one. Next one is physical attack up 19.5%. Is there anything that's better than that? Well, we know one of them is going to be right there. But it's only plus two more damage. Oh, wait a minute. It's this one. What was that other one? Oh, attacker's kin down. 9.7, yeah, I don't care. Kin is those uh, alien blobby things, kind of. So if you were to go up against a kin, it's a type of monster, uh, we would deal 7% less damage. And here's radial. That's 18%. I mean, triangle. And we have this one. Hit points gradually deplete minus 8. No thanks. 8 hit points every tick. Gone. Alright, so none of these are better. Okay. And sometimes it's good to look just to see. Alright, let's get our... Uh, fire paper. Just buy something so our inside till under 10 and we want to grab some shit out of here because it doesn't autom automatically populate okay we have 98,000 runes souls whatever it's called in this game so we're gonna buy uh, we're gonna buy some throwing knives Okay. Oh wait, we still have thirty-four thousand. Oh, my blood echoes because her blood vials. Okay. Um. So the tombstone to port back is over here for this DLC. All right, guys, we're back. Let's go find a boss. Beware, especially when the secret. I thought maybe he has something different to say. He does not. Incidentally, if you go up here, you can get some armor. Uh, Constable's clothes. Not that we'll use it, but it's there if you want to do some fashion souls. We'll go down this bridge here and to the right, and then to the left. And there's a doggo here. I thought there was two dogs. There is. And then here is a hunter. But also a bunch of fucking crows. So we need to get that hunter away from the fucking crows because they're just so annoying. Oh, I think they're great. I'll go up here. Incidentally, there was another dude, another hunter, or not, not a very hard one to kill with a dog. It's not worth it. And we can do this. And if you drop down onto that beam, you can go across there, and then you can get that shiny. You, that's what I'm saying when you, when I say, like, you know, look above my head. Do that again. If you drop down right there on that beam, and then go left, you'll get that shiny. And now we are going to open up yet another shortcut of sorts.
And some dudes we're not going to fight. I mean, we could, but like I said before, it's not worth it. He's got a cannon, a very large cannon, with a lot of damage. And he's those, he's one of those big, big guys. Okay. And we have a lampy. And we have a summon. We are not going to solo these things because why? Why? It would take forever for me to solo summon her. We can go that way, by the way, and get that. And then there's a way down here, but there's this hunter. Uh, where is he? Hold on, it's really kind of cool, actually. See, um,. Right above my head, and that is a shadow with a hunter that's right there. Pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. Old hunter Henriette, and we've we've uh, we've summoned her before. Now we'll go up here, grab some blood vials. Hope she doesn't die. Just fucking around. And... Oh, I don't have the impurity room. Darn it. Meaning, if I had the impurity run on, there's another dude that we could summon here, but old hunter Henriette is going to have to be enough. Incidentally, if we die, I'll just go and put the impurity run on. I have no shame. Now we're doing this. Here we go. Um, we need fire, Scarecrow. Is a big horse beast thing. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit too so that we don't. You know how they raise the volume of the bosses? Down eight ticks. <laughs> Here we go. Like that is an insta kill move. Stay pull up here.
I'm like, fuck. This is not good. Oh my god, he... He visceraled him! Go, Henriette! He wasn't so hard with him yet. I thought it was going to be tougher. Incidentally, just so that you know, my... Wait, let me wave. Shit. Just so that you know, um, if you give him any room, he'll do more of the dash attacks, which one-shot you. So it's it's kind of important to stay close, even if you're doing it on your own. And we got the room guidance. Cool. Okay. And so now we will go over here and talk to his head. Yep. Yeah, we will. Good hunter. Have you seen the thread of light? Just a hair. A fleeting thing. Yet I clung to it, steeped as I was in the stench of blood and beasts. I never wanted to know what it really was. Really, I didn't. I'm sure you didn't. Good hunter. Have you just had That's all he knows. But if we kill him, we get the Holy Moonlight Sword. Which, by the way, is a sword that a lot of people really like to use, but me. That's fine. To each their own. And you know what? We're going to use those. We're going to use those insight. And we'll also top off on our blood vials to boot for the next area. The research hall, I think it's called. I think. We're gonna buy some fire paper. And we have 150,000 souls. We'll buy Molotovs. Um, we have, what else can we buy here? Can we buy any, we can't buy those, we can buy poison knives. Oh my god, we bought 120,000. 120,000 souls worth of poison knives. Okay. Okay, alright, alright, okay. Return to the back. Okay. Alright, okay. <laughs> Underground cork pile. Through these doors, we have two NPC hunters. One is harder than the other one. One is only magic. Uh, well, I say hard. That's... Ooh! Simon's back. A tragic figure. But he will shame himself no longer. That was Ludwig. With his ideals untarnished. Those dudes up there. And earned that much at least. He was a true hero. Do you know why the hunters are drawn to this nightmare? Because it sprouted from their very misdeeds. Things that some would rather keep secret. 
Mm -hmm. A pitiful tale of petty arrogance, really. I doubt okay. someone exposed the whole charade. And you're the one to do it? Now, now. Go on ahead. You seek nightmares and the secrets within. We do. do you not? We do. Now, now. You seek okay. So I want to show you guys something. So in our weapon category here, we have a weapon called, we've, we've seen all these things. By the way, if you see this uncanny stake driver, by the way, you get this, you can get the stake driver, but the uncanny version is one that you find in the chalice dungeons. Remember when I said they, they swap around the slots, the gem slots, that's what that is, uncanny. See, we have an uncanny beast claw. We have an uncanny threaded cane, right? Yeah. We should have an uncanny blade of mercy, but I don't think I went through that dungeon. Or or went to that area of the dungeon. Anyway. Anyway. Um oh my gosh, we actually do not have it. Simon's bow blade. Okay, so we'll get it. I wonder why I don't have it. That's really weird. It's almost as if the first game through because we're on G plus the first time through with this character your mom I didn't do the DLC that's what that tells me interesting okay so we have two hunters and this is like a jail okay let's um dude stop talking Swear to God. There we go. Now you can talk. We can't open the door because it's locked. But there's a whole bunch of doors. There's one over here. It's locked. There's one over here that's open. We can grab that. Frenzy Cold Blood 9. Dude, don't you dare. Did you see how they worked in tandem to beat me? Not this time, yo-yo. Fucker. Give me your blood vials at least. I mean bullets. So there's a way down here. And this is... Shut. All right, guys. Um, all right. So we're talking to this dude, and this dude, we kind of... Can I move a little bit? He's right there. You can see him through the bars. Okay. He is um, kind of unique, meaning he can summon dudes outside of here to try to kill me, which he will, and we'll kill them and hopefully not die to them. But each one of the things that he summons can give you a different piece of another armor that really is just fashion souls. It's not anything. So he asked if I hear the bell. We don't fucking hear anything, right? But we're going to hear the bell. But we don't hear the bell yet. He's pissed. He can fuck right on off. Some places are better left untouched. Okay, are you Simon too? Alright. So the first thing that we're going to do is go back up these stairs. We have a couple more cells. I don't believe we can go in any of them. Now we... Well, we, can, we did go into that. Can't go into that. That's locked. I think there's a hunter in here, by the way. Which is weird to me. 
He's like hiding behind the door. Fist of Grasha. Grania. That is a fist weapon. Okay, so here we go. Finally. So we have these table or beds. See these beds? Because we're near the research hall. And these beds, I guess for the experiments, straight ahead to the right is one of the uh, would-be assassins, NPCs. And then straight ahead is the other one sitting right over there. So back here, there's some dudes. By the way, these are the easiest rats in FromSoft history. And this is some Bloodstone Chunk. Which, again, if you're playing through the regular game, those are super valuable. And we hear her. She's right there, like, praying or something. And we're like, oh, okay. I'm gonna fucking kick her ass, right? Well, no. Because if we go over here... There's the other hunter. Alright, we're not gonna... Holy shit balls. Holy shit balls. Holy shit balls. Move. Run away. Oh, so late. Okay, camera souls. Oh, I did it now? Okay, great. So many hit points. Are you weak to poison? No? Yes, you are. It takes four, but you are. Thought I got that. I didn't mean to hit there. I'll take free damage right about now. This guy is uh, pretty hard and a lot of hit points. I'm hitting pretty decent now. I 
I'm gonna be out. I'm out of bullets. Listen, there's no shame. Now we have bullets. Are you serious? So long one there. Forty-four thousand. Mad minutes knowledge. Great. Yeah. I would. Oh, so by the way, if you press up on the D-pad, you can use a portion of your health to bring yourself five blood bullets. I'm glad she did not come all the way down. Brick silver bullets, and that's all we get, man. But wait, there's more. So, you remember how... A lot of people, when they go and when they play a FromSoft game, they're like, oh, when I get to a bridge, or no, not a bridge, an elevator, I need to wait till it goes up to see if it can go down too. Right? We see it in Dark Souls 3, almost. But, so we go on here. And this is the eye pendant that we got in the Grand Cathedral. Pretty gross. And I don't really understand the significance, but there it is. Now this turns into a lift. And we're being lifted out of here, even though I don't want to be, but it's part of the cutscene. So who am I? Stop it. And some impeding dudes who are like reading over this person who's dead. To do what? I don't know. And then we have the research hall. Light our lampy and go the fuck back. We have our lamp lit now though, so so we're good. Here, back down here, and then wait. This one's a little more like obvious than the other ones. Lawrence's skull. Lawrence's skull is to trigger the Lawrence boss fight. By the way, we can go down here. And we get a nice chest. For 
our troubles, which is uh, going to be church cannon. That's right, because we haven't done this in the regular game. So we got the church cannon. That's what those big, huge fuckers are shooting. Oh, yeah. We don't like that. I mean, if you have a lot of strength and shit, you can use the church cannon. I really don't know what it's going to do, to be honest, but... Come on, trigger. Hello? I like hit the little, like the fucking blood stains. Look at all the blood stains, man. Look at all the people who are actually still playing this game after nine years of it coming out. Nine years. You tell me this isn't the fucking greatest game ever. I don't know, dude. I don't know. This is the reason why I bought PlayStation. I think I told you guys that, but. You know, maybe I'll go through that whole story again. But essentially, when this game came out, I heard from my friend, Hey, you might like that. And I'm like, dude, man, I don't have a PlayStation 4 at the time. He's like, all right. So then, like, a year went by. I didn't do anything. Then I'm like, fuck. I got a, an Xbox. There was no good games on Xbox. There still isn't. So then I'm like, all right, fine. But a PlayStation about Bloodborne. The rest is history. Um, all right, let's see. Many more poison knives. We can get 20. And 87 of those. Okay. We're almost good with our pots. Research hall. Take a look at our time. One hour and three minutes. All right, guys, we're going to call it. We're going to do the research hall in the next episode. Really fun. I'm not entirely sure that the NG plus part is taking effect in the DLC. I'm sure it is, and I'm sure I'm just fucking out of my mind, but basically what I mean is we were fighting, we went to NG+, we fought all of the main bosses in the main game, but in my regular game, I never went to the DLC of this particular character. Your mom. See? Your mom. These are your mom's stats. Your mom's female. Duh. Okay. Please subscribe. See you soon.